we had a massive windstorm come through here just uh, two weekends ago. So that times of refreshing yes. may come from the presence of the Lord Adonai. Watching may send Brother Messiah John messages. For you. That is Yeshua. These Brother John lectures. Must in heaven, back into the consciousness. Into the time of universal restoration, tuning it up in the spirit. That Yahweh announced. Be more mindful of. Through his holy prophets. Yah's commandments. Moses said, "The Lord Adonai, keep the Sabbath day holy." But that earlier clip was a flashback from a prophet like me. You must listen. The summer of 2012, sometime last year, and, and it uh, be that I was dealing with the massive windstorm that came through during the summer of 2012. its power. Then you had around this time last year, I guess it's been over a year since the impact of Hurricane Sandy here on the East Coast and especially up north in New York City and Jersey. We're essentially inside the storm, Diane. It is just to our south. We're easily getting into some of the worst gusts, 60 to even 74 miles per hour. That threshold of hurricane force, one of the worst storms that has ever hit Atlantic City. This is the superstorm battering the barrier islands in the crosshairs. Now, this particular camp of other types of Hebrew Israelites, this group of the black Hebrew Israelites and pre Zabak. In the street corners, Times Square. I have to mention that despite certain racial issues in the collective whole, he's speaking the truth. I mean, on this particular matter, dealing with the wrath and judgments of the Most High in connection with the weather patterns. A lot of people don't want to teach on that. Of course, Almighty Yahweh, Yahweh. Ahaya, tomato, tomato, it has judgment upon this wicked nation, this mystery Babylon system. So it's not just harp enterprises. Uh, they can't do that. They can't do that. They can alter some, you know, degrees of, uh, they can alter some degrees of weather patterns, but they can't do that. That is the most high and his rightful judgment upon this wicked nation. And that's where I have to say that, uh, Pre Sabak is right on this particular subject matter, talking about Hurricane Sandy. Storm battering the barrier islands in the crosshairs, Atlantic City. Yeah. It's chaos along so, the Jersey Shore. It is not the modern the day conventional the Christian thing to say, or so called Atlantic Christian City. thing to say. A lot of modern day so called Christians. Not all, but many Damaged don't usually have a good explanation for these things. They say, well, you know, it's after the end of days, the Bible inundated. says this would happen, so and I don't know. You know, there's explanations, and it's not harp enterprises. The Illuminati, the Satanists, and these other corrupt powers that be of this whole wicked Babylon system can do many things to their wicked sorcery and modern technology, but they can't do all that. And you know this is this is still minor compared to the judgments and other portions of the earth that's happened in the past two to three years, like in Japan. Uh, God bless and have mercy upon the majority of innocent people, civilians in part of Japan from the tsunami that hit back in 2011, and even just recently this past week, the um, big hurricane that hit in the Philippines. So this is taking shelter. What you're seeing right now, that's. In case some real. Uh, Messianic disciples or other types of Hebrew Israelites to speak the truth according to prophecy. And now that what has been done has already come and passed, we must pray for the majority of innocent civilians in the aftermath in the Philippines. 
The Most High has wrath and judgment through his tough love. That's right, through his tough love and contrast to his love and compassion through Yeshua, the Messiah. But a lot of modern day so called Eli Evers and so called modern day Christians in the Gentile Christianity of this world system and the other false religions of this world system fail to understand that other aspect of the Most High.